Hey guys, Hidden Abilities here, and welcome back to another episode of How to Make a Game. And as you can see, I'm kind of zoomed in here. To zoom in, you just press period on the keyboard. To zoom out, you press comma. Fun little tip there. Alright, so now we're going to be getting into collision and gravity. First off, create an actor and call it PCOL, for player collision. I'm going to do collision a little differently, but still not as complicated. Now, I may run into errors in this because I've only kind of rehearsed this once, so forgive me if I do, but they, they will be fixed, that's for sure. Okay, first off, make the collision to where it's just over his head, or just under his head, and uh, just over his feet. Now, go here, click your uh, player, go to Parent, select P Call. <laughs> P Call. Now, for whatever method you used for moving your player, X plus equals 5, for example, if you use the draw actor form, then go to draw actor. Uh, if not, then go to the part that moves the, moves the player. And replace X plus equals 5 with PCOL dot X equals 5. PCOL dot X equals 5, or minus equals 5, and there you go. Now, add a variable. Uh, actually, we might not need to do this. No, I don't think we do. This is for more advanced. We don't need to do that. Okay, um, go ahead and add that instantly, and as you can see, it, he still moves. If you were to do that, I mean, he would move outside of the collision, or he wouldn't move at all. So you needed to change that. Now, uh, go to the P-Call Actor, go to Draw Actor, type in Y Velocity plus equals point Point eight. Let's uh. Let's just yeah. Let's go with point eight. I always said for point eight. So now make an actor called Stage. And give him the graphics, the default graphics that come with GE is the ones I'm going to be using again. Let's see tiles two. Yeah, we'll go with tiles two. Now what I like to do here is you can see I just click tiles and that. Uh, to move the view, hold right control. To make the to make it snap like that to any kind of actor, just press left shift once and it activates it. Press it again to turn it off. Uh, holding right shift will allow you to delete something. Just and just click to place or delete. Uh, right click is the same thing as left click, as is middle. You know, so it doesn't really matter which click you want to use. Just use a click. All right, so let's get started. I'm just gonna kind of draw a short little level. Let me explain. These, okay, see how uh, you got this giant white square? That's Each of those are the same size as the view. So if you want to kind of make something the size of the view, that's how you can determine it. You're probably wondering what the crap am I drawing out there for? Well, as you can see here, if you're drawing here, it, the snapping kind of screws up um, because you're drawing near another actor. And it's not, you know, it's not used to that kind of thing, so... Alright, so yeah, we got that much. Now I'm going to add the grass. Press left and right, by the way. I apologize for not mentioning that. Press left and right to uh, change the tile. As you can see, I'm not really the greatest of all uh, tile artists. Well, tile designer, designists. Whatever you want to call us. Press escape to cancel that. Now I'm going to drag it over here. See how I made it in the same view size? So now we're going to zoom in. And we are going to align this perfectly. Forgive me for the nose uh, nose exhaling thing. Okay. Now go to your... Um, back, go back to P-Call. <laughs> go to collision. Uh, top or bottom side. Repeat yes of stage. Now go to script editor. This is, we're going to be programming here, but it's nothing advanced. I'll explain it. Double Y vel equals Y velocity. This will actually store the Y velocity into a variable, which you can then repeat. You can bring back the Y velocity. And uh, if you don't do it this way, if you just say any side of the land, then he'll stick to the side of the walls when you're trying to run into him. So um, you're just doing it this way. Then, oh, I already had that paste, I'm sorry. Uh, you would do, go to, go to variables and functions and go to physical response. Make it zero and zero. 
And then you would do y velocity equals zero. I mean, uh, hold on, I'm sorry. Wow, I'm, I'm, this is supposed to be for the left and right, not the top or bottom. I apologize. Uh, y, velocity, y vel. So y velocity equals y vel. Just copy and paste it. Just copy that to your clipboard and delete these first two things. Just add the physical response. I apologize. Now I'll go to the left and right side. Then you paste that. Of course I didn't paste my bottom one. That's okay. Y velocity equals y vel. And now we have that. Let's test it out. Yay, the actor stops. And as you can see, he doesn't collide with the top pixel of the lamp. Yeah, see, there's this kind of error, which, quite frankly, I honestly don't understand why it happens, but I notice it does seem to happen with uh, larger collision boxes or wider collision boxes. So if you have it like that, it probably shouldn't happen. Probably. No, it still happens. I Honestly, I cannot figure out why that happens. I honestly can't. It's because he wants to slide to the very top, which, I mean, I'm not sure if that's a glitch in the programming I'm doing or not, you know? But uh, regardless, it, it can't be fixed unless... Oh, no. Okay, right-click that and go to Lock Actor. So I'm, I'm going to see something. And this is just for uh, testing purposes. I'm trying to figure out why. No, he still tries to bounce. What I'm not understanding is why is he bouncing? I, I never could figure that out. Sometimes when I make a game, it won't happen, and then other times it will. Yeah, I just, I just don't know. It's really, really, really weird. Uh, so let's go back to the left or right side of the stage. And for some reason, it, it counts as top. I don't understand it. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I can't even begin to figure this part out. I mean, I, I just don't know. I honestly... I honestly don't know. But if you do have that glitch, uh, sometimes you'll get it, sometimes you won't. I mean, I'm actually going to have to talk to Slane about that, because I can't figure out why that would be doing that. But that's okay. It's no big deal. So now we're going to go on to uh, preventing the player from leaving the screen. Okay. Now you see how you have the if key D thing equals one. If you're using this method, you would just simply add and x screen is greater than 16, which is a little the right pointy arrowish thing. And for the key A, you would say and x screen is less than. And then in parentheses, you would do 640 minus 16. This would that actually creates the result 640 minus 16. So if it's less than whatever the, that result is, that's how I would do that. If you're using the other method, what you would do is you would, um, so like if you're using the key down method, I'm just going to create a quick one here. You would, instead of say, instead of doing that, you would do this for the key D, you know, or the right, you know, the right button, whatever key you set it. You would do if X screen is uh, less than, in parentheses, 640 minus 16. And then, and then you would do that, and there you go. Those are brackets, by the way, if I hadn't mentioned that earlier, which are those little half square, well, shift, and then half square things. Okay, so that's what you would do if, uh, yeah, if you were using the first method. So let's try it out. Nope, he could still leave, oh, I got it backwards. I got it all backwards, that'll happen. <laughs> Uh, so just copy that. I apologize. That is a uh, backwards thing. <laughs> yep. Okay. It really was backwards. Wow. Can't believe I did that. That was noobish. But once again, mistakes will be made. There you go. Now he cannot leave the screen. But he still wants to really bounce and just like zoom up to the. Wait a minute. I, uh, no. I mean, I, I, I think I know of a way to fix that, but I really don't think it's, uh, 
worth trying to do at this moment, but as we progress with the game tutorials, I will, uh, <laughs> by then I would have found a workaround. Most definitely. So, now I'm just going to go ahead and design. So, BG tiles, I'm going to go ahead and go through layers. Make an actor called BG tiles. This stands for background tiles. Now, well, you can add this little collision tester. <laughs> nah, but anyway. Tree 1 and Tree 2. Add both of them right here. Go to Tile. First, let's do the uh, the first tree, Tree 1. Okay, yeah. Add about right there. Or, that seems about right. Now, do uh, Tree 2. About one of them. Let's place one here. I guess. Why not? Why not? You know, make it. No, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but you know what? You know what? It's okay, man. It doesn't have to. No. Anyways, <laughs> add another actor called FG Background. Or uh, FG Tiles. Or whatever we named the other one. I totally forgot. <laughs> yep. Okay. BG Tiles and FG. This stands for foreground. So this time, uh, add the same thing. Actually, let's go ahead and add tiles 3 for this one. Because this is where most of your, uh, I think... Nope, no, 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 I got it wrong. It's tiles 1, I believe, that has... Yep, the grass and stuff. So just uh, just continuously tap right, or just hold it. And uh, we'll add some stuff. 3, 4. A flower. Another flower. And another flower. Just kind of add some... Excuse me. Add some stuff there. Now I'll go to background. Actually, no, we're just going to use a solid color as a background. Uh, right here is the game properties. Click config and go to game properties. You can bring up this window. You can change the game's frame rate. Uh, motion compensation, I always enable that. Sound quality, I'm just going to go to mono. Because I'm used to that. <laughs> so, um, make the background kind of... Let's try this value, which red is 0, green 113, blue 179. Let's see if that's I rate. No, that's fine. Okay, uh, now to actually make this come up in front of the character. Let me explain transparency and Z depth. Transparency makes it see through. Uh, Z depth will make it farther up ahead. For example, uh, if the Z depth is higher than this Z depth, well, since the player is uh, parented to the P call, and yeah, there you go. That's how that goes. There you go. And now he's going and all that. So, uh, yeah. Kind of, there you go. Work our way up there. Maybe it's, uh. I think I know what's going on. I think the I I know it has to do with the collision size. It has to. I mean, it doesn't make any sense otherwise. Or well, at least we prevented him from going up in the <laughs> up on the uh, the next floor. I like how his foot kind of goes like in front of the flower. If that happens, all you gotta do is just drag it down a little more. There you go. And there we go. So now we got some pretty nice level design crap. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's actually take some time into making this look a little nicer. I mean, they're not going to be able to see that, but, you know, it just kind of makes it look... Oh, cool. Anyways... <laughs> Let's go back to this now, the foreground tiles, and just kind of add some stuff. Got our, already got the flowers there. Is that a mushroom there? Why not? Random mushroom and a red flower patch. Random mushrooms are random. But yet awesome. At the same time. So yeah, add a little golden flower. I'm not going to lock the tiles for that one. Just to make it look a little more decorated. Let's see how that looks. Not bad at all. 
Not bad at all. Oh, doing pretty good anyway. Now let's see if we can't go out the right side. Oh, we can't check anymore. Yeah, once again, you will have minor glitches and stuff like that that happen. And if you get them, that's fine. You know, I mean, they're dealable. We'll fix them eventually. But for now, I guess I'll just add... You know what? I'm going to add jumping. Now, there's two ways to do this. The key down method again. Let's just go ahead and make K for jump. Uh, enable. Go to... We're just going to do this this way. We're not going to add it in the script editor. We're just going to do this one solid way. Make a variable called can jump after you've entered the uh, script editor. And say if... Wait. Make sure uh, repeat is on. Or heck, no. You can have repeat off if you want. If can jump two equal sign zero, you know if can jump equals equals zero, y velocity minus equals wait y velocity equals negative ten a negative a ten jump height that should be good. Um, later on in the future, I'll be kind of going over variable control at at the very start up of uh, the game. You know that way you can kind of just go to whatever script and modify it instantly. You know. Um, so yeah, man, I this has a long way to go. So, anyways, let's. Oh wait, we gotta do something else. Uh, do can jump equals one, and then end it off with the other ending bracket. Copy that because I did click. Yep, I knew it. If you click add actor, or I mean, if you click add, for some reason, game editor will crash. Oh no, that's RPG making hits. So I gotta navigate. I'll be right back, guys. Hang on. Okay, I'm back, guys. And if you get that kind of error, it's okay. Uh, a failure, it'll detect it. You can just click yes. But now we gotta go back to this actor and go back to the space thing. And I did something wrong anyways. Space, disable this time. No, not space. Sorry. K, and then disable. Then paste your code back. But this time, instead of typing Y velocity, you would do C or... Er, PC, you know, the PCOL, the player collision, PCOL dot Y velocity equals negative 10, and can jump equals 1. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right, we didn't, we didn't create the can jump anymore, it got deleted. So make it again, can jump, if you did get the crash, if not, greatness. So, uh, now, we would go back to here to the P call actor, collision, top side of, uh, stage, repeat yes, can jump equals zero. Now this will enable you to actually be able to jump. See, watch. See? And you, you can't double jump or anything. You can just jump right on up here. And see, as you can see, we can't go out of the view. And there you go. Now your player can jump. There is one more, there's a couple more things I want to go over in this episode. Um, am I recording? Oh, please, yes. Okay. I was, I was thinking that I, I did please tell me I did not like uh, not press whatever if that makes any sense so anyway something else I was gonna say oh yes what else I want to go through is hold on I'll be right back okay guys uh, you know what that is actually gonna be it for this episode and next time we'll go through score and uh, probably some saving and loading variable data Hmm. We'll go through quite a lot. Oh, and screen moving. We'll go through screen moving as well. Alright, guys. Thank you all for watching. Um, <laughs> once again, sorry for the errors, but there will definitely be errors in programming. There always is. And there's always a workaround. You just gotta find them. Alright, guys. Thank you all for watching. Once again, this is a screen recorder I'm using. I recommend it. It is incredible. Alright, guys. See you.